Now, the National Health Insurance Authority is exploring measures to improve health care delivery in Ghana. According to Chief Executive of the NHIA, Dr. Bernardo Koboy, there is the need to implement a value-based care system rather than the current one, which is focused on volumes. He made these comments at the opening of a five-day workshop organized by Farm Access Foundation and partners in developing and piloting a value-based care model for Ghana. There's more in the following report. The National Health Insurance Scheme was established in 2004 in a bid to achieve universal health care. The scheme aims to provide all citizens with equitable access to basic health care. It has faced a number of challenges that have hampered the needed health care delivery. Farm Access and its partners, Lipfrog to Value and the Christian Health Association of Ghana, are working with the National Health Insurance Authority to develop and pilot a new value-based care model. Speaking on the sidelines of a workshop in Accra, the chief executive of the National Health Insurance Authority, Dr. Bernard Okuboy, said value-based care is a panacea to the provision of better health care. The National Health Insurance Authority is now going towards electronic management of its claims process. And this electronic management or digitized process allows us now to consolidate and crystallize all the information we have about Ghanaians who attend hospitals. And that is where value-based care comes in. So that if, let's say, two conditions account for 80% of all hospital attendants, it will be in the interest of this country, based on the data we have, to do something about these two conditions. And uh, value-based care allows you to invest in interventions that would even prevent people from presenting with these, con uh, with these uh, conditions. The current insurance system rewards the value of healthcare delivered rather than quality outcomes. The reverse, according to the executive director of the Christian Health Association of Ghana, will reduce the burden on the scheme in paying claims. It is the intent of this of the government and indeed the entire society to ensure that everyone living in the country will have access to quality health care, the highest attainable uh, health care, timely, without any financial barrier or restriction. If that is the case, that anyone living in the remote segment of the country will have the same level of care as in Accra and the rest, what it means that we must ensure value. There is a risk of looking at quantity, looking at volume of health. The implementation of value-based care will align patients, payers and providers to achieve outcomes that matter to patients at an optimal cost. Dr. Gifty Sunkwa Mills is the operations manager for Farm Access in Ghana. Um, you walk to a typical hospital on a Monday morning. You see the OPD full of patients. Doctor comes and wants to see the patients very quickly. And the system will pay according to the number of patients that have been seen, not necessarily the outcome of their conditions. But now we want to take it to a different level. We want to make sure that each patient sitting here has a very good quality of care and in a cost efficient way. So whatever money investing into healthcare, we want to ensure that we see the results. So the outcome is very important to us, clinical outcome as I've said, the quality of life that the patient has, and then the patient's experience of care. The five-day workshop on value-based care is expected to assist critical decision-making as well as policy formulation in a bid to improve healthcare delivery in Ghana.